I started farming when I was um, about 18. We spent a number of years putting in roadways, paddocks, um, uh, putting in a water system, putting in cubicles. Uh, we turned the, the bog and reclaimed it. We started at that time focusing on protein and solids and cows. And um, uh, away it went. Um, we didn't really r realize that um, we were doing anything worthwhile until the EBI system uh, was introduced and uh, when the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation was set up we decided that uh, we'd leave the very best of the Frisians remain Frisian, the very best of the Norwegian Reds remain Norwegian Red and uh, pedigree and that anything else in between we'd crossbreed uh, but we'd crossbreed uh, to correct the traits that needed uh, the quickest improvement. So that's the basis of our, our breeding program now. We'll go into the, the um, uh, sire advice uh, and um, we'll use the selection process. Uh, we'll probably eliminate um, some of those cows on the bottom of cow's own work um, as uh, targets for breeding and maybe use uh, beef pools on them. And then on the rest of the cows, uh, the, the, the cows uh, of higher value, um, we'll, um, we'll continue with, her, with our program there. Uh, she's uh, an excellent top class, high EBI, Frisian cow with good solids, good legs and feet, good fertility, good all around, will remain Frisian. Uh, the same with the Norwegian Reds and anything else in between, we'll crossbreed. As it is, we genomic test uh, any uh, heifers, any of the calves or in calf heifers, uh, each year uh, that we're um, that are coming on stream, we'll we'll genomic test any eligible animals, and again pick the the best of those uh, f for breeding. The EBI of the cows I think is 184. Um, the, the the young stock have uh, EBIs I think close to uh, 200. We look at um, at their milk sub indices and the fertility, and um, uh, we'll uh, I'd say want to select bulls on the Frisian side of it anyway with a fertility figure somewhere around the 120 mark I'd imagine uh, plus, and uh, for the milk side of it, uh, well, uh, our own milk sub index is uh, around 62 or three, so we'll want to beat that as well. Uh, might be talking about maybe 70 of a milk sub index and um, uh, fat and protein is about plus point to I think one five so again we'll want to beat that and uh, they'll be the criteria we'll set for the bulls now I know um, the other thing that that uh, I'd be very conscious of uh, is that in the future with uh, the whole question around um, dry cow therapy that um, breeding uh, high health uh, stock is going to be very important so the health uh, sub index we'll be looking very closely at using a large team of bulls is vitally important when we looked at the, our, our own discussion group the farmers who used uh, a large range of bulls had more genetic gain uh, over a 10-year period than some of than a lot of the other herds in our discussion group uh, where those guys would have selected, um, you know, a small team of bulls.